hi welcome to another new video so in today's video we are going to talk about um, a book review uh, this is the artworks of Matthias Urban Awards number two and the name is Tokyo at night so this is like a follow-up uh, to the first book that he published which was the uh, Tokyo shop fronts um, so this one is different because it is all about night scenes and everything is done like if you really like dark green looking uh, black mysterious kind of a uh, painting yeah this is the book to get so like the previous book this book comes with like a separate sleeve all right so this is the previous book so it has a separate sleeve and um, so this is the um, cover if without this sleeve here it's just black like this is so cool right <laughs> and then uh, underneath you have another uh, on the uh, page on the book itself there's another cover and everything is just just so cool and so black <laughs> okay um, so the structure of the, of the book goes like this. So it has got several, about five or six chapters. Yeah, six chapters. And then in each of the chapters, um, he has got about six painting. All right, except chapter six. Chapter six is more like, a, you know, how he did it uh, um, and, and how he actually uh, show you the process, how he actually look for, how he look for the right tools and the right place to, to, to do it. And in the... Uh, uh, chapter 1 to chapter 5 uh, he divided them into like various um, sections and the sections they have various themes like high buildings strange places there's uh, trains and bridges rain Tokyo and back alleys As for the previous one uh, they were actually shop names so he could give like the name of the shop and the lo actual exact location but this one is more like a street scene so he he did at the last chapter uh, you know, put a little map to show you where at the cross junction or which area he was at. The text is in both English and also in Japanese, so you can actually understand it. The technique that he used is um, ink and wash as, uh, you know, what he has done previously, same as what he has done previously uh, in his previous uh, short front drawing uh, book. This is the street that he actually paint, he painted uh, in the cover, right? There's always a big a page you know of of just the the, the, the street scene uh, on its own and he, there would be like a name to it and of course at a after that he would actually have two sections a section on what it is about where he he, he got it why he chose it uh, as a scene to paint and then how he did it so in the how he did it portion he picks up certain parts like you can see he actually squares out certain parts that are um, special that he actually did something um, that, that, that he think is worth sharing with everyone so I think that is very useful because it, it tells us sometimes you know I think he, he there are certain things that artists do but you do not know how they did it but in this book he did explain how he actually you know get that like effect and, and how, why why he, he did this and not something else so which is I thought a very good way to learn how to do things so he it took him about um, three to four days to paint one painting so it's it's crazy because there is a lot of a lot of detail so it's, he if you if you have seen the the, the first page the, the section where I just shared you will realize that he actually did a lot of challenging painting so you have things like the uh, you know night scenes like that and uh, you do have things like uh, night rain so you have this kind of thing like the reflection on the road and you have like those uh, reflection like that uh, very subtle like really bright lights like this and um, some subtle uh, subtle lights as well so this kind of subtle light so it is a lot of work and it is a uh, very technically I think quite, quite difficult paintings to do um, so there's one section that I thought was quite uh, out of place because um, as I mentioned he had five chapters right so just before he, he, he you know the how it was made sec uh, chapter which was chapter six there's one section that was like colored like blocked out like yellow color it, this is um, a special interview with uh, Makoto Shinkai so Makoto Shinkai is the director uh, of the show uh, Your Name which is a very very it's a very popular Japanese uh, movie which has got a lot of uh, uh, scenes uh, of, of urban scenes urban street streets in, in Tokyo which I think um, Matthias actually had helped out in some of the scenes so 
I mean, why not, right? So he actually had, they discuss about, you know, uh, how Japan is like, how Tokyo is like. Um, I do think that although it's interesting, it kind of breaks the uh, momentum. Like you just finish up with this and then suddenly it jumps to an interview. So it could be probably at the back or something, right? So anyway, in this book, you get to see how uh, Matthias looks like. Who do I recommend this book for? So for example, if you are an urban sketcher or if you are someone who loves to paint night scene, if you like to do night sketching, but you do not know how to how to use the watercolor, how to paint a dark night scene, and this is a book that you can look at because there's a lot of tips on how to paint um, these different conditions. So what have I learned uh, from this, uh, this book? So firstly, a few of the scenes he actually did uh, he used his uh, artist license uh, to change some of the, the views like for example what this one where he actually did a walk like he did a, a, con a change the uh, perspective so that it looks like you're like you're like um, suck into the, the, the scene and then there is one where he actually you know there is only a two-story building but he actually added a few more uh, stories so that it looks more the contrast is there so in the previous book Matthias mentioned the usage of white inks and uh, also like masking fluids uh, to create highlights so for night painting the use of highlights become even more important and in this book you also see how differently they can be applied that it could be done uh, using uh, white gel pens it can be done with uh, a white ink painted or it can be uh, with a, fl a masking fluid he also uses airbrush uh, airbrush uh, for some of these uh, to, 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 pro, uh, to, to get some kind of a misty look. So for certain certain parts, for example, there's like a misty view, he would actually use uh, uh, airbrush. He uses black very rarely. And uh, he, he did mention in the, one of the section that uh, he uses mainly like those really dark, intense uh, paints like indigo, Indian red, neutral tint to make these like dark, dark colors. So for example, like this area like this, or like uh, maybe this area. So don't we all have sets like this um, where there is a black? Sometimes black can be a little bit too boring. Mix interesting blacks with a few complementary watercolor paints that have uh, high tinting strength and dark values. Uh, Matthias suggested a few like Indian red and uh, neutral tint. So depending on how you mix it, you get different character. So this is with more paints gray. And if you like to add more Indian red, you could, and that texture is just different. And we decided that, okay, like, let's mix a phthalo blue. So phthalo blue is another of those colors that has really dark intensity, and you could do a night scene with it. So let's try to see how, how we can get like a beautiful uh, textured night scene. So this is what we can get versus this black that we have. There is a little bit of the translucency. One thing that I learned which is pretty interesting is that he uses ink, fountain pen inks to paint. It makes the painting very dark and there is no, there's no tonal value at all. This whole thing just looks flat and dark. So that is how he made the, the certain parts of the sky or certain parts of the painting really, really dark. In uh, Matthias' book, he mentioned about these uh, fountain pen inks from Sailor, um, especially the Seiboku and the Souboku. So these are, he actually uses the Souboku for dark color washes. So if we were to use a fountain pen ink, can you see how dark that is? So this is like a black. So let's apply this to uh, our drawing, our painting, and then show you how it might actually look, okay? This is with uh, Indian red uh, and a little bit of phthalo, phthalo blue, so that's a really textured night scene, okay? So let's try with the ink. So this is the stable cool ink. See, we can try it here. So can you see how dark it is? It is almost, almost black, okay? So you can see that difference, how it makes the whole scene so uh, special. So that gives you a little bit more depth in, in, in a way. Inks are, you don't have to mix them. The color is all in a big bottle. 
So you, you could just take them out and paint them, paint a larger area. But of course, there are things that you need to note when you use um, inks for painting because uh, not all inks are created the same. So uh, I, I may go through this in a future video. So if you like to see that video, just let me know and uh, I will share that really soon. So this is how the ink painting would look. Okay. As you can see from the uh, paint, the, the swatches that I have done, um, after they have dried up, the colors, uh, the the darkness from the ink is so much stronger as compared to the paint, uh, even the mixtures. So if you like to see subtle, you know, differences in the darkness, the black that you have, you can use watercolor, but it will not be as dark as as uh, using a, a, a fountain pen ink like this and and when you dilute it with water you do get to see some of these effects so it really depends on the paper that you have as well um, but this is generally generally what you, you get and in this painting that I did uh, <laughs> I, I, I tried I tried I didn't think I did a good job but uh, you could see some of these areas being really really dark and those are because of the uh, fountain pen ink and some of these are actually just watercolor where I mix, uh, I didn't use black, I, I use uh, the uh, Indian red, phthalo blue and uh, neutral tint and payance grey um, to get this really really dark. Uh, kind of effect and of course the most of the contrast is important so if you are doing anything that is uh, like a night sketching night painting the contrast has to be there so when it's bright it has to be really really bright when it's dark it has to be really really dark so that's why i also included use some of these uh, white pens uh, those are these are really important when you uh, paint uh, you know night scene because they would give you that highlight um, to show like the, the bright, the, the, the you know, bright versus dark contrast. So this is what I learned and I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. All right, uh, remember to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.